Hi darlings, thank you so much for joining me on my channel today. Today I have a Bible journaling process for you in my two inch margin Bible. And I am journaling the new under construction devotional from Creative Retreats. This is their October Faith Art Kit and I am loving it so far. I just dug in a little deeper into Proverbs and study the chapter 27. I'm going to be focusing on verses 9 and 17, which I have already highlighted. And I've also cut up lots of the digitals that I knew I wanted to use. I'm going to be using this stencil from last month's kit and the Creative Retreat Ink Cotton Candy. So I'm going to put you on fast forward. Let's dig in and I'll explain everything on the way. Let's dig in. Okay, darling. So I'm going to start off with this stencil from last month's faith art box it was from the heartfelt kit and i'm going to be using this dollar tree blush brush which is it was just a dollar now they're 125 and i'm going to be picking up some of the cotton candy color that is a creative retreat ink i will link that below and i'm going to be just putting that some of that ink through the stencil um, in hindsight i would have used a lighter hand with the color it did come out really bright and bold and i kind of wanted a faint look in the background um, but still it came out beautiful so i'm still okay and happy with it so there is the result of that just using a wipe to clean off my stencil and this is how i keep my stencils clean just wiping them right after and then now i'm going to work on my title so um i I did want to actually work on the bottom part first and I'm using this strip of um, color swatches that comes with the Faith Art uh, faith filled digitals and if you can see the bottom part of there and I kind of show you that there my ink jet printer was actually running low on color ink so it did some weird streaks on the bottom of this particular swatch so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use another portion of that so I kind of cut off the top of that creating like little hills signifying the ground um, without cutting off any of those flowers and then I'm going to use this other piece I'm going to fold half of it in so I can do like a flip down I also wanted to keep all of the verses visible when I added my little houses that I will add so this is going to be a way to do that I am adding some liquid glue to the bottom of that and I'm just going to add that to the bottom of my page all the way across and this covers this Bible all the way across and leaves a little bit left which I will cut off the excess later. So I'm holding down that little corner piece and I do put that long acrylic block over that other piece just to hold it down a bit and I just hold it down for 30 seconds and then I let go and then we're good to go. I cut off the excess now and kind of give it that rounded corner and then I'm going to cut um, down the middle here to create that flip effect. So you'll see me grab my scissors, create a little slit and so the half that is not going to be flipping up and down, I'm actually just going to glue down because it's not covering any of the text. So now I have that flip up portion right over there. And then I'm going to lay down my houses. So I have three little houses that came in the Faith Field Digitals. Two of them that actually cover the text, I will be laying on top of the brown swatch, the little grass mound area. And then one of the houses I will be tucking behind because that one wouldn't be covering the text if I just glue it down to the Bible fully. I start off with this blue house and I'm going to, after I know what position I want my house is in, I grab my liquid, with liquid glue and I add glue just to the bottom portion of those houses. Except for the pink one, I add that one in and then I add more glue towards the top of that house so it completely is adhered down. Okay, and then I'm just going to add a little bit of washi behind there because I did get a little bit of glue um, that kind of smeared onto the back of the page and I don't want this flip up or flip down to stick to the back of the page. So I add a little bit of washi just to make sure and then we're good to go. So now I knew I wanted to use one of these labels for my date, but I wasn't sure where I wanted to go with that just yet. So I go with the actual title. I am journaling here in Proverbs chapter 27, and I'm focusing on verses 9 and also verses 17. Verse 9 says, Oil and perfume make the heart glad, and the sweetness of a friend comes from his earnest counsel. 
Um, I love this verse because it really talks about how um, oil and perfume, like if you were to gift that to someone, um, this is what I got out of it. You know, that is going to make someone happy. But when you have a, when you're a sweet friend to someone and you give great counsel to someone, um, that really helps someone in the hard moments. You know, gifts don't really do much in those hard moments, but that I feel does. And, um, I feel that that is what the verse is really saying. Um, also, when we look over at verse 17, the verse says, iron sharpens iron. I think it's important for us to know that when we look at the verse, iron sharpens iron, we're looking at um, two people that sharpen another. It goes on to say, and one man sharpens another. So when I am sharp, in the Lord, and I see that my friend is kind of going a little bit dull, I can use words, sweet words, as verse 9 says, um, I can use my sweetness to sharpen my friend. It doesn't need to be something harsh, but in the moments that they are down, I should be able to correct them with truth, but using words in love. So here I um, put the title, speak words in love to build up one another. I was going to use one of the faithful digital pieces that says one another that was in pink and blue, but I actually go for the one another in the stamp set because I feel like um, it, it went a little bit more because the other words were in black. At the top here, I am using one of the tags that actually comes in the Faithful Digitals as well. I use a label in that baby blue color just to bring some of that baby blue up to the top because the blue was already represented and the pink was. And I wanted to add a little bit more of that light blue onto this page. I add a little bit of um, more decor with this little pink heart. I stamp out my date. And then I'm going to grab some of that washi that I was using earlier. Um, I don't like to waste. So some of that washi that was left over that I used earlier, I'm going to use right here at the top. And then that other piece I'll use under the word one another to um, build a little cluster even further. I'll grab some of the cardstock stickers and add two hearts to bring some of that blue and pink to the middle of the page as well. I mostly use Faithful Digitals here, um, but I believe that you can use both the Faithful Digitals or the kit or both of them together like I did to create this page and it was super fun to put together. I really love how it turned out. That is it, darlings. That is the page. It came out differently than I thought it would, but I still love the end result. Um, I love that I'm able to flip this back just in case I want to read the scriptures. Sometimes I don't mind covering scriptures, but chapter 27 was so good that I knew that if I wanted to look back at this page that I would want to actually continue reading the full chapter. Um, like I said, I kind of centered myself around 9 and 17 so I didn't have to highlight the whole chapter but the full chapter really speaks some goodness so I didn't want to cover that just in case I wanted to look back at what I was studying that day so that is it that is it for this video I'm going to link below the under construction devotional if you have not picked it up it is full of some really pretty decoration guys I mean I use the faithful digitals to kind of um, get my groove on but I can't wait to use these other pieces in my bible as well and that is it thank you so much for joining me if you're new here i hope you consider subscribing hit the like button the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos thank you so much for joining me each and every video darlings god bless bye